Mr. Travis. It had better be a goddamn emergency. You know this is my... I'd be honored, Mr. T. God bless you. Let's get it together, bitches. That was the man. It's not every day I get to kill the legend. You are now entering the Dexter Industries Research Facility, where the top minds of science and technology strive to make the impossible possible. Dexter Industries, where the magic happens. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Hitman Absolution. I am Drusfer from Xbox Live. So, this is the Death Factory level. And for this first part, I've seen some people do it differently, but I've never changed it from any difficulty. Like I've seen some people smash the glass so they can sneak in and out of this room, but that seems kind of risky to me because that's a two or that's a one-way mirror, and so they can't see you. And as long as you don't run, they won't hear you. So, yeah, if you've played this on any lower difficulties, nothing changes on this part. You just hit the fire alarm. When this guy walks out to check out what's going on, you. Sneak in while the other guards get us back to him and grab the file. Not really that complicated. Now, on a lower difficulty, I might try to get away with uh, just sneaking right past this guy, but uh, if he doesn't turn his back away from the fire alarm, he'll see you try to walk out the door. And they can spot you a lot faster on purists, so I just wait until he walks away like that. And then I go. So, how's y'all's holidays going? Any plans for the new year? That's nice. Anyway, so yeah, you use the files you stole to get the password, open up that door, and you are in the facilitator. Now, because of the way I like to take out the next target, once this cutscene's done, I restart, and I'll explain after the cutscene. So, yes, as I was saying, I always restart at this point because then the doctor is right there where he was standing during the cutscene. And so as long as you stand back here, you can shoot the glass out from under him without being spotted. I believe that's a challenge. Yeah, it's part of the many different ways you can take him out. There's a challenge for taking him out in all the different ways. So, anyway, now that he's gone... All we have to do is disable the security and get back here. So, I've seen different routes taken for Silent Assassin on um, purest difficulty or on any difficulty really. But this route, again, nothing for me really changes. I took this route on the lower difficulty. I take this route now. So, and there was no spotting going on there when that light flash that was everyone chilling out from the doctor taking his fall but anyway I'm purist make sure to hug this wall all the way up because these guys can spot you and they can spot you fast so chuck the wrench 
And as soon as they turn their backs, make your way up this ladder. You will like almost get spotted, but as long as you don't freak out and just keep moving this way, you'll be fine. La -dee -da -dee -da. Are you to the fight later? Sneak past these two guards yeah. talking about the fight. And hit this. When they walk away, deactivate the security. So, <coughs> the cutscene at the beginning of this is pretty awesome. That's um, foreshadowing into future events that are going to be taking place in another mission down the road. But those are the Saints that Travis was talking about in a previous video cutscene. And the leader, the one that answered the phone, is voiced by Vivica Fox who is awesome. She was really cool in Kill Bill and other things that she's done. But I really like seeing her in these action-y roles like Kill Bill and as the leader of the Saints. So as long as you just watch these guys you can sneak on through here pretty easily. The only one you really gotta look for as long as your timing is lined up like mine is is that guy that I was waiting to walk away down there. Once he's in the clear, as long as you just stick to cover like this, then you should be fine. You may want to double check before you move when you get down here just to make sure there's nobody coming this way. It's clear, so I'm just gonna go. And then we're gonna sneak on to the next part. I did restart here because I goofed up, but normally there's two doctors that walk along here behind this guy, or in, well, yeah, behind this guy, between you and this guy. Um, but yeah, you just sneak on down here, and this part's tricky with suit only, but not impossible. Once that scientist dude's chilling right there, you can just sneak on to right here. I do. I do this a little bit differently than I've seen other people do it. I've seen other people do it where they just like wait for those scientists to turn their backs and for that researcher guy to make his way in here. But I use the steam because it distracts this guard right here. Then all I have to do is once the guard walks away, make sure to distract the researcher. The researcher's not looking. I'm making my way around here. You do have to be super quick though, because yeah, that guy just left and he won't see you, but there's usually a researcher in this room right here. You don't see, there he is. And he's going to turn his back soon, so we really got to get this done super quick. If you feel brave, you can grab the evidence off the table, as long as this guy doesn't see you and you don't get too close to the guards that are sitting around it. I've seen other people do it. <clears throat> I won't do it because I get caught every time I try. But, uh, yeah. So then you just hit this and head on to the next part, which has a challenge that I will not be doing because aside from an Angel of Death 2, this one sucks a lot.